In general life, you meet so many interesting people, but just like with all good things, there are also some bad things. This gentleman right here, you've probably seen him circulating the internet. I've seen it before, but it's only popped up now, and I just couldn't quite believe my eyeballs on what they were comprehending. So without spoiling it, we'll play the clip. You can let it digest in that brain of yours, and then we will come back and discuss the theory as to how a specimen such as this man has ended up the way he did. In short term, he is a man who's gone through a lot. However, does not seem to have affected or knocked his confidence let's put it like that so let's get arno to play that shit hello y'all like bodybuilders oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. bodybuilders yeah. i like skinny scrawny guys how about multi-millionaires <laughs> how about eight inches and thick the hell so already he's laid out his LinkedIn profile, multi-millionaire, multi, not just a millionaire. So he's obviously got stacks and facts and absolutely big, big pouches to fill. But he's also stacked. If you can tell, he's clearly on a bit of juices or, you know, certainly eats a lot of chicken breasts like Captain America does, isn't that right, Chris Evans? But this man has just laid out the foundation. He's set out his, his market, you know. He's like doing a car boot sale almost in his front garden. Like, I, I like skinny scrawny dudes. No, you don't. Can they protect you in a zombie apocalypse? No, they can't can no they can't skinny scrawny dudes can't protect you me i'm eight inches thick how about talented how about loving and respectful <laughs> So eight inches and thick. I presume he's not talking about his arm width because eight inches is uh, mini. You know, that's tiny. That's not even worth it. So he's clearly on about his chode here. Now, eight inches. I can't quite comprehend that, but I know what mine is. So if I times mine by six. Fair enough. So he's got quite a large package, supposedly. However, if I was going to tell you what I had, I would not tell you the exact measurements. You know what I mean? I'd add a bit of mystery. I'd be like, well, it's between one and 24 inches. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna have to work it the rest out and find out what you think. It only goes up to half inch. He also described himself as, hold on, I've forgotten. How about eight inches and thick? How about talented? How about loving and respectful? Talented, loving, and respectful. So, so far, I have not seen any of that. They always say, you make up your mind on someone in four seconds. I'm a very good people person. If I don't like you, I know. Sometimes just by looking at you. Because he's a hardened racist. Usually after you've opened your mouth and said a couple of sentences. This man it has no talent, all right? He has no respect, firstly. You know, the fact that he's gone out and laid his stall out already and told us the side of his fucking privés tells you how insecure and needy a man like this is. I mean, this is like... Like red flag you and him you and them would cause an absolute chaos he'd buy you loads of shit or whatever just to make up for the actual roller coaster he is you know what i mean like i might have just woken up i might be tired in bed but i'm not a fucking psych i'm a psychopath but this guy's a narcissistic psychopath and like throwing another word bro i'm not the most clever being in the pod but my god this guy clever respectful fuck you dude eight inches and thick how about loving and respectful? Loving and respectful. I mean, so far you've shown no respect to these girls by presuming that they aren't really interested in your body type. You know, girls have different preferences. Men have different preferences. Just because you've got man boobs and a gut the size of the Bahamas does not mean they have to be attracted to you. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. A big bicep you know i've got several myself because we have several biceps on the human anatomy which i'm sure you're well familiar with but this bloke my god he has no respect and he's breaking my heart I'm breaking my heart anakin you know what i mean just mate you're clearly insecure something's gone wrong let's find out i lost my wife 10 weeks ago 21 years faithful my daughter committed suicide three weeks ago oh shit. 13 she was faster than me at 12 and i run a six minute mile my testimony, I'm nothing but pure, and I ask you if you want to be in the YouTube channel. And you like scrawny guys. I know he so I just need to pause for a moment and just actually digest what I've just eaten. So his wife died or left him, 22 years faithful, and his daughter committed suicide. And he's kind of promoting it like, look at this great life I live. If you're my wife and we have kids, look at the possible, look at their future. They could, isn't this intrigued? Are you not intrigued? Do you not want to find out what could happen if you have this eight fucking inch showed? Uh, not really. Not if it's going to result in both of our deaths. You know what I mean? 10 weeks ago, 21 years faithful. My daughter committed suicide three weeks ago. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. So lost his wife, doesn't specify how, we'd have to follow up on that one. And then his daughter committed suicide, and now he's out on the beach looking for his next victim. I mean, what's he doing here? What What is the plan? What is the goal here, my friend? To top up your tan and, you know, find a potential honey? Like, what, what's going on? All due respect, I understand sad things can happen, but I think the fact that you've just laying this out in front of them is sort of making them a bit 
like awkward it's made me awkward and i'm not even there i don't really know how to respond i mean she was faster than you and you can run a six minute mile i mean is that how you remember your daughter you know on a grave loving caring daughter friend could run a faster mile six minute mile than me it's like oh cry oh mate what a fucking character she was but she was the right life for the party and family you know what i mean like that's not something you say when your daughter uh, it's just narcissistic idiots isn't it saying my wife 22 years faithful and now i've lost everything but i'll tell you about it and tell you about the size of my car it's like this dude's clearly not been in the dating game for long. I won't blame him, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I'll give you a few tips over fucking notepad, mate. Thing is though, you know what I mean. I reckon my cat's faster than you. I reckon my guinea pig is faster than you, mate. You, you know, it's well common fact. The more you weigh, the slower you are. Even I remember that in physics, mate. Of course you're gonna be less. And you like scrawny guys. <laughs> <laughs> then the ex is like, and she likes scrawny guys. Like, well, to be honest, you've kind of not done big guys any justice yourself. If I was, you know, on the fence saying, do I like big, do I like small? And I just had this encounter, I'd go, I don't think I like guys at all, you know. I think I'm actually uh, a lesbian. Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. All seriousness, though, I'm sorry this guy's lost his uh, daughter or whatever, but you know what I mean. This is screaming out for tips and tricks, dating 101, head to the library or something, find yourself dating for dummies, find a solution, homie. I hope it works out for you. Clearly, you're a little insecure and nervous and getting back in the dating scene, and who can blame you? 22 years faithful, your daughter could run a mile faster than you. I mean, you had the life, and unfortunately, it's come tumbling down. But, you know, scrawny guys, maybe, maybe she likes scrawny guys, bro. I think this all started from a 30 second clip of you saying your knob was eight inches like <laughs> bro that sounds dangerous to me bro if you got stabbed with something eight inches you'd be dead homie you'd be dead you know what i mean just because it's a man's genitalia does not make it any better but yeah let me know what you guys thought of this um legend this human specimen and uh, i'll see you guys at the beach yeah we can all compare sizes i think i'm pretty pretty average at least right maybe